So what are the four C's? If you're planning to buy a diamond ring, you've probably already done some research, either online or in a store. And by now, you've probably heard something about the four C's. The four C's refer to the four different ways that diamonds are evaluated. The cut, color, clarity and carat weight. But what most people don't realize is that not all of the four C's are equally important. Let's start with carat weight. That's the size of the stone. It is often the most visually noticeable of the four C's because it refers to the total weight or size of the diamond. A ring may have a one carat diamond or even 100 diamonds that total a carat. In both cases, the total diamond weight is one carat. But are they worth the same? Definitely not. When cutting and polishing a diamond, the majority of the original raw diamond is lost in the process. You need a large uncut diamond in order to achieve a single stone equaling one carat. And that's rare to find. In fact, it's more than twice as hard to find a stone big enough to cut a carat diamond as it is to find one to cut a half carat diamond. That's why they can be more than twice the price. Next is color. Contrary to what many people realize, diamonds can come in all sorts of colors, including yellow and pink. White diamonds can vary from blue-white to yellow-brown, with the first being considered the rarer and more valuable. The lighter, the better. Next is clarity. This refers to the inclusions, sometimes incorrectly called the flaws, created naturally during the stone's formation that can restrict the reflection of light. Almost all diamonds have some inclusions. Obviously, the less inclusions, the better the reflection and sparkle, and the more valuable the stone is. You will hear grading terms like VVS, very, very slight inclusions, or SI, slight inclusions, used to define the clarity. Lastly, and most importantly, is cut. Most people recognize cut as the way the stone looks. Princess cut, round brilliant cut, emerald cut. But what's more important is how well it's cut. And that's not something that can be analyzed on a piece of paper. A good diamond cutter will get the proportions just right, so the stone reflects the best light and sparkles brightly when you wear it. It's the unseen part of evaluating your ring, and the part that can matter the most. When we choose our diamond rings, we always take this cut into consideration to make sure that the sparkle in your ring shines brightly. For more information about buying diamond rings, talk to our expert consultants.